Good evening everyone, Yuzukool back again, and today I just received this little engine in the mail. Stepney the Bluebell engine. An engine that doesn't appear much in Thomas. His last appearance was like season 12 in like, what, 2009 or something? I wanted this guy because as a kid I had his Trackmaster and Tommy variants, I think, like some of the old like motorized versions, but the treads kept falling off and off and it was really annoying. Um, but I still really love Stepney's design. It's one of the more unique looking engines. Um, Stepney is of course based on the real life Stepney from the Bluebell Railway. Sadly, Stepney isn't in steam anymore, so you're out of luck, but Stepney's a cute little engine. I think this is probably my favorite model of Stepney. Like, this just looks dead on, like, so accurate to the show. Except he's a little small in person. He looks really big in, in on the big video, you know, over here. But in, uh, in person, he's a little small. He has these chunky front couplers, though. He has some nice silver bu buffers, more whitish. He has that classic face. Very season four style face. He has a very unique paint color, being this sort of orangish brown. It kind of reminds me of peanut butter. Wheel arch, Stepney in bold font, and number 55. Hey, something I always loved about Stepney was his red coupling rods. I think they're very cool. Uh, most of Stepney's uh, decals here are actually stickers, which I did not realize. This is a decal, and this is a decal. But the windows, those are stickers. It's actually very interesting to me. This guy's in really good condition. I usually buy items used. That's, that's kind of my thing. Mostly because, you know, it's cheaper, and I like obtaining items that feel like they've had a history. This one, not so much. He's been kept pretty clean. It just feels like someone had this guy, forgot he existed, and decided to eventually just give him up. Very nice model, though. So really like this. I'm so shocked that these are stickers. I Ertl didn't use stickers too much. And eventually they stopped using stickers altogether on diecasts. As you can see with this Adventures James that I pulled out. Eh, but they became less detailed overall, so I think I'd rather have sticker detailing than no detailing at all, personally. Mattel's writing that down right now as I speak. <laughs> he is. Now, for scale, I'm going to bring out another Ertl engine. Ertl Thomas. General unit of measurement, the most common item. So Thomas, here. As you can see... Stepney is a little out of scale. Thomas, it is kind of bigger. Kind of. Actually, no, I'd say Stepney is a little bit bigger overall. It's mostly just the face that gives the illusion that Stepney's bigger. But, like, if you actually look at them side by side. That's why I still think this Stepney is, like, super accurate. It looks, like, 100% like his model. If you put this guy on HO wheels, I think this would legit be the best Stepney. This would be, like, almost a TV series accurate recreation of him. Uh, let me see if I can pull out my trusty ruler, if I can find it. I think I left it somewhere around here. Where's my ruler? Oh, I forgot I don't put it here anymore. Alright, so... Alright, pulling out my trusty ruler... And measuring in, I'm going to do centimeters because it's smaller. It's a little hard to tell because I'm on, it's on a black. Um, from coupler to coupler, he's roughly 9 to 10 inches in length. Around that size. Yeah. And then he's about... Uh, two and a half centimeters wide. So 
So yeah, a little out of whack compared to Thomas. He also has really tall windows. I didn't realize that till now, how tall the windows are. I think that's accurate though. That looks pretty, pretty accurate. Here he is next to good old Devious Diesel, my other most recent Ertl item. Stephanie's lucky to have a plastic face. I do not like the painted painted diecast faces, but I get it. Some, sometimes you have to cheap out, and it does look fine. It works. Percy. So here's all of my Ertl items. I intend to get a few more. Um, Ertl and Wooden Railway are probably what I'm going to most collect. Ertl because they have a very interesting look to them. And Wooden Railway just because it's really easy to just buy engines from anywhere and make it into a Thomas character. Wooden Railway is like compatible with everything. In short, I really like Stepney. I think he's a really awesome character and a really awesome model. Um, he's not too expensive, I don't think. I'm really grateful just to have a Stepney again since my childhood Stepney has always broke on me, but this guy probably won't. Anyways, that's all I had for today. Night.